11 here. And this is the first question in the series of uh, questions for this text. And this question asks the first paragraph mainly serves to something. So this is a, like a big picture question, right? We're focusing on the level of the paragraph and we're asking, like, what does it do? How does it function in the paragraph? What, or how does it function in the passage? What's going on? So the way to solve the questions like this is to sort of establish two things. So one, you have a general understanding of what the passage is about. Honestly, you could probably get away with it a little bit on this question, but for the most part, when you're doing the big picture question, the main thing that you want to figure out is what is the passage about? And you got to have like kind of a firm understanding of what that is. Um, the second thing for us to do is to look more closely at the first paragraph, look at its immediate context, understand what it's about, and then ask ourselves, how does it connect to the passage as a whole? And then we can sort of answer in our own words, right, before looking at the answer explanations, what the function of it is. This is a little outline for the passage that I have here, and this just breaks it down by paragraph. I think the level of the paragraph is the best way to break down the passage. Um, if you just focus on the level of, of the paragraph, normally you just figure, you just ask yourself, what is each paragraph about? And then I'll give you a rough outline. You don't need to write all this out. You don't even need to really, um, you can put notes on the side of the margins, but honestly, a lot of this you can just do in your head, but it's just using the, the paragraph order sort of as a general structure for the outline. So real quick, passage it starts with talking about why guppies are good for studying evolution introduces the experiment talks about two types of guppy environments right predatory and not different traits between the guppies in each of the environments and then experiment to show how basically you can manipulate the environment and cause genetic evolution rapid change in the genes um, from one to the other then it talks about some other related experiments and then talks about um, quick evolution in those so um, that's sort of the general idea of what's going on. Now let's look at the first paragraph here. First paragraph says, a female guppy can be sexually mature at two months of age and have her first babies just a month later. This unstinting rate of reproduction makes guppies ideally suited for studying the rate of evolution. And David Resnick, this biologist, he's been doing exactly that for the last few decades. So what this does from here to here is just tell us about guppies, right? Tell us that something unique about them. They are sexually mature at two months of age and they have their babies just a month later. It means they're reproducing so fast within months. So what they're telling us is that that makes them ideally suited for studying the rate of evolution because they're able to evolve at such a uh, rapid pace. And this is exactly what David Resnick, this biologist, has been doing. So in the context, introducing everything, this is sort of setting us up by telling us Here's the guppy, here's some things about the guppy, and here's why they're ideally suited for studying the rate of evolution. So we should expect our answer choice to probably have something to do with this, right? Wow, that was amazing. Yeah, I think I made everything worse. Let's undo all that. So why they're ideally suited for studying the rate of evolution. Let's go to our answer choice and see if we have an answer choice that's sort of about that, about the fact that we're introducing guppies, some features of guppies, and sort of trying to explain why they might be good to study. So A says, establish the reason why a certain species was selected for scientific observation. This matches almost perfectly what we just said. It's a reason, right? The reason is that they mature so quickly, they reproduce so quickly, um, and that's why they were selected for a scientific observation. This is a good answer to this, let's keep it. B says, illustrate the value of studying the offspring of a particular animal shortly after birth. This seems at first kind of plausible. It's talking about studying um, the value of studying a particular animal, right, similar to A. The thing, though, is that it's, it's focusing on this, the offspring of a particular animal shortly after birth. And neither in the, the first paragraph or later in the text does it talk about how he's studying the offspring shortly after birth. It's not focusing on that. This, these two parts are right. This part makes it wrong, especially in comparison to A, so we eliminate it. C says, introduce a theory at the center of an ongoing debate. Um, in that first paragraph, there's no theory introduced. All it does is talk about some facts about the guppies and the fact that uh, Resnick is using that fact to study them, so no theory. D says, offer a rationale for the prevalence of a new field of scientific inquiry. Again, there's no field of scientific inquiry that's mentioned in the first paragraph, uh, nor is there a rationale given for it, obviously, because there's nothing there. So we can eliminate that one as well. It's always just with interesting to say. Thank you.